is Relax and Paint today. And I'm thrilled to see how you've been liking sunflowers and other things that I've been teaching. I am trying to not be really loud because I want it to be a relaxing and peaceful morning for you or whenever you're watching this. So we're gonna take a deep breath occasionally during the lesson. And what I wanna share with you is that um, there's things that make it easy for you to learn how to paint. And I found over the years, especially all you newbies on YouTube that have just found me, um, and even some, some of you from a long time ago that found me again, um, there's some things that I've learned. I get better over the years and I change the way I do things uh, with strokes and with holding the brush, loading the brush. And so it's very interesting to see your comments. But what I want you to understand is you do have to practice. So Relax and Paint is all about practicing some simple strokes I'm doing. I've done fabric and glass and all sorts of different ways for you to learn how to paint with one stroke painting. And we've got oversized like the painting behind me, um, but it's a good way to start a morning. It's also a great way to end the day. It's the most important thing is that you take time for yourself to practice and learn, all right? I'm Donna Dewberry. I'm thrilled to be here with you and have you share um, these strokes that I've created. And I made a simple process where you blend, shade, and highlight if you reload the brush properly and you can stroke beautiful flowers and landscapes and whatever you would really like to learn how to paint. And I like to hear what you'd like to learn how to paint. Are we going to relax? I need to relax. I've been running around this morning already. So let's relax and let's paint another little lesson. But I'm trying to go slower here. I do do the YouTube streaming videos where streaming lessons and where I talk to some of you guys also. I also have um, an area that I think you'd really like. It's called practice drugs every Friday every Friday at lunch time. So this is what's really important, that you practice the strokes. I even taught some angle brushes last week. So be checking them out. And I have all my students have been practicing and been sharing with me. And go to, please, to Facebook, Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group on Facebook. And share what you like most. Come join us. It's a private site and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and you can join us all right we're all we're like thirty thousand there right now i don't know when you watch this but also thanks for helping me grow this site i'm trying to hit a hundred thousand so hopefully you'll be looking at this six months from now and i'll be over a hundred thousand <laughs> thanks to you guys for watching i appreciate it so much all right so relax get your supplies and let's paint together. I have some fun little flowers we're going to paint today. So let's go to the overhead camera. And we are going to be right here. And we're going to be painting on scrapbooking paper today. All right. Scrapbooking paper is a really easy background. And it can be framed. So it's kind of fun. So I'm going to try to get you right over it. And so we have a big clear picture. We're going to use um, a couple of different brushes today, but the brush, we can use an angle brush a little bit. I'm going to start with a 16 for some of the stems. Off. So let's get a 12. A 12 is going to help you. All right. So let's get a 12 and we have a 16, which is a flat brush, a little bit bigger. And we have the signature brushes that are lavender. And we have the one stroke brushes, the regular set that are very inexpensive and easy. It's plaid folk art one stroke brushes. Okay. So we're not going to need that big brush today, so let's get started. 
All right, so I'm going to pull out some colors that we are going to have fun using. We have used just blue and white before. I'm going to have sap green and citrus green. Now it's important that you watch how I load this, all right? Then I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. Okay. And I usually use a foam plate, but this matched what I'm doing. So I pulled that out. Now this is peacock blue. Now what we're using is multi-surface. Multi-surface folk art, multi-surface. This is called Blue Peacock. And I've been using daffodil yellow, sap green, citrus green, and daffodil blue. And then I also have eight ounce bottles, big bottles. And this is wicker white. Oh, this one's titanium white. Okay, so we put a little white out. And then we're gonna use floating medium. So floating medium, you're going to really love. There's two different sizes, all right? And it is the fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment. I'm going to tap it so it spreads out a little bit. I can put a little bit. It's the gel. It's the fluff that's inside the paint. So let's get started. Now, what I'm going to show you is that we're going to put our stem in there first. So one of the things is we can take an angle brush. All right, this is a 3 8 angle brush. And I have angle brushes and this line of brushes too, and my signature brushes. All right, so I'm going to pick up citrus and go right over here and go back and forth, back and forth really quick. Okay. Now, see how much paint I put in there? All right, so I want you to see the layout, so I don't want to go too close first. Okay, so we have the brush loaded, and we can just dip here and pick up more paint every so often. And if it's dry, if it's really dry, because it's paper, I can get a little bit of medium and work that in. Now, I want you to watch how often I use medium, all right? So I'm going to take my little finger and I'm going to lead with the heel. This is the heel. This is the toe. So I did a practice on how to use this brush under our practice strokes last week. So touch and curve just a little bit. And then right about here, this splits over and splits over. All right, and then we're going to have a stem that comes up here, and maybe we can go like this, and this would be one of your stems. Then every so often, this flower stem is going to break up every so often. And look, if we put another dot here, up up and this just helps you get a really thin line because you're just painting with the toe all right so i'm going to come up with another one all right so one of the things you're going to see is that we can have these long guys coming out we also can have a few coming here See, I haven't need to go get any medium yet again. All right. We also can come in here and just do a little bit of grass. All right. Now, you're not seeing the yellow as much or the light green as much, but if you get close, that's what gives you the shading. Okay. Is that we have this light green. Now you can also take this brush. Let's try this. And we're going to 
use this little teeny bit of the medium on the heel, on the heel part. Now watch what happens. I can come here and watch the light green edge. And I can curve down. And then I can come on this side and lean over. Okay, now the citrus green is transparent, so I can add a little bit of white. So when I'm coming over here, look how pretty that turns out. All right, so let's do it on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to flip the brush over. Oh, I got to flip this around. So the heel's going first. All right. So, and if you're unhappy with something, just restroke it. See that? And I can come right here. All right. So see how that looks? So we can do a couple more of those, but down here there's going to be a bigger one. So white, citrus, and a little bit of medium and work it in. Okay, when, you, when you're working it in, you're blending it also. Hi, did you hear me talk about floating medium? We don't use water with one stroke painting unless we're using our script liner. So Floating medium is a great bottle. It looks just like that. And it comes in two ounce and eight ounce. And that's what I use when I feel like I need water. And it makes the painting feel like butter when you're stroking. So look down here. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. It's at the end. And then you can take a little stem into it. Okay, let's do it on this side. Okay, now you can see through this, so I can go back over here and do another. Look, I could go step, 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 and pull. All right, so let me turn this around. Yes, you can turn around your paper. How cool is that, or your project? Now watch, one, two, Three, I just pat down, pat down, and stand up. All right, and then so you're going to pull a stem in, and you pull a stem in here, a little bit of a stem in here, a little bit in here. Okay. Now, a couple of other places is right here, so push and slide. Push and slide and turn. So let's go close for that. I'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white and work those two in. So look, I'm going to push and lift. I'm going to push and turn. Okay. And then I can come up here again and do these little sprigs. Okay, now we're going to do lots of little strokes in here, but what's going to happen is a couple different places, like maybe right here, right in here, and maybe over here. Okay, now on the paper, I can't fix that that's multiple stems but I can fix it by just adding another stem kind of crossing over, okay? And by the time we put our flowers on it, you will be happy. I also want to pick up a little teeny, a little six flat, because some of the greenery at the very top, at the tips of these, all right? These kind of look like a little daisy, to me, they're just a wildflower that I liked. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. Let me start over. With this six, 
you from a 12 and smaller. You can decide to pick up all one color on this brush instead of go below loading like I usually do. All right, and then I can side stroke a second color. Okay. Now let's go on the tip of this. We can pull back little strokes. I need to go close so you can see this. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three, two, three. And it's a little blurry, so let me get up a little bit higher so it focuses in. One, two, three. Push, lift, push, lift. We're having a hard time with recordings because they have so many people online, they're not giving us a good clear picture right now. Or HD, so. We just all have to be patient during the COVID and hope that they fix it soon. See those little teeny strokes? Those are going to help you and those are going to come along here. Just little spots of them. And up here again, see the top up there? I did one, two, three, I'm going to come in here with some more. One, two, three. Just a few little segments, which are going to have some blue in there. Okay. So let's go right over here. A little bit. All right. You see how that comes in there with the shading? It's got little streaks of shading. Okay. All right, so we'll come back and put a little leaves on the base of some of these flowers later. Let's see with the number six, you can get all these little fine details. All right, so we're gonna stroke out on some of these where they have the little strokes that come down. Just little ones. And see how often I keep going and picking up more paint. All right. So this is a fun little lesson. Just little strokes. It's like a botanical where I just find a flower that I think is fun and say, let's paint that flower. So that's my six. And then I'm going to use, I'd like to use something smaller than a 12 so it's not so difficult um, to make it small <laughs> so here's our 10 this is my donna dewberry one stroke brushes dark green handle all right so let's do blue peacock blue peacock and we're going to pick up white Tip, work it in. Break on. Awesome. Love you. Okay, Michelle. <laughs> we got to cut that. All right, I'm going to come back later and do the little teeny flowers. So let's go right here. And I'm going to come all the way around and see how pretty this looks on the purple scrapbooking paper. All right, so this is what we're going to do. This, for all daisy type flowers, we go one for the um, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Then we're going to just come in here and pull flowers, flower petals in between. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. And see, I don't want them all perfect. This one didn't have enough white. So it's okay to leave a few that are darker or you can come right back and get some nice little strokes in here with more white. All right. And I did come along in here and pulled some little sprigs. Isn't that nice? You can just restroke if you're not happy. All right, so I want you to see that I keep coming over here to the blue peacock. That's a new color. You can use cobalt. You can use uh, ultramarine. There's all kinds of colors you can use. All right, so I'm going to turn it and lead with the white and get a darker look. So right up here, one, two, three. See the little bits of dark? One, two. Three. One, two, three. See, I just put a few of those, but I, um, most of these others I've been leading with the white. All right, so let me show you another one. I'm going to come right here. So the blue is going first. So I put a dot where I wanted to go to. And then I touch, lean, and pull. 12, 3, 6, 9. So you touch, lean towards where you're heading. I'm heading to the middle. So touch, lean, pull. Pull, pull. So I need more white. And more. There we go. So aren't they, they're starting to look really pretty. You see that? So I left space in between. I'm going to keep coming and picking up the two colors. Now, now for these, I turned it around and I, and I led with the white. So the white goes first. Whatever follows is the predominant color. Okay. So uh, that one, I could put a little bit more blue. Okay. And then I can come down here. All right, so I can put some green in there. Isn't that kind of fun? So by the time you finish with this, you, you pretty much will have these little daisy wildflower um, ones done. Now here's my center. So I can do ones back here. All right. Then I can skip a little bit and come over here. One, two. Then look, I can do a one over here, here. Now what I want you to see is how doing it not perfect makes it nice also. See how it's not exactly perfect? You're going to every once in a while flatten that brush really flat. See, flat. So you get a nice chisel. All right, so I'm going to do one that's a little different here. Pull, pull all these here. <clears throat> now, the ones in front, I'm going to do smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay, so now it looks like it's tilted. So let's tilt it a little bit. I might come here also. I'm still not happy with this one. I can just keep pulling it. Now it's important that you lay out the stems like I did, but you can come in here anywhere you want. One, two, one, two, and add a few more which means 
we're going to come in here and put a stem to make sure that it is attached. All right. So we're laying it out. We have triangles. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we have one, two, three, so small, medium, large. We also put the buds, one, two, three, oops. See how we put buds, one, two, three, or one, two, three? So, because people say, how do I know where to put the next stroke? So, as I'm stroking this, I think I need a triangle here. Okay, and then I'll put another one in here. But it's, I don't want them all to look the same size and the same look. Just because it looks a little bit more natural if it doesn't. All right, and I'm going to wash this. And we can pick up the six and do all blue because it's a smaller brush and pick up the second color. All right, so let's go back to here. We're going to come in here and add some little light blue. Can you see it well? Little bits of blue. Right, I keep going over here and getting white because right in here we want to have some little bits of blue. And little bits of blue. Okay, so. Yeah, I got it busier, but that's okay. I think it's going to look good that way. So little wildflower designs like this. I want you to think what cute little greeting cards that this design will make. So you can just use a little sprig of it. You can come right in here and add a few little sprays on these little stems. Okay. And I'm going to wipe this off and then just pick up some citrus green with some worker white and do a few little strokes out of these. So see, you can do as little or as much as you want. At any point you saw that it was kind of cute like it was, or you can add more. All right, and now, are you taking a deep breath? Be sure to stop and start this as you're working out your design and seeing how I do this. We're going to dip and dot. You can do single dots. Okay, can you put some little dots along here? Okay, is that kind of fun? Little dots. Let's see how many I got with one dip. One dip. And these would be a little bit of a stamen, not as much as, um, not like berries. I can also come in here and use a pencil tip. Actually, I will do that. I can use um, I can use the tip of this and I can steady my little finger and I can put little dots. Okay. Little dots. Multiple dots or big single dots. Look up close. All right, so dip dot. All 
All right, this is also, this is a 10 aught. It's a spotter. And I have these on my website also. These are the mini liner brushes. There's a set of them. So all my brushes are on onestroke.com right here at the end of our class. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Oh, we didn't see you do those. But there we go. It's kind of fun. Got a little dark in here. Uh, if you were looking at this close to me, it isn't that dark. All right. Now, last thing I want to show you is let's get a good liner. And we can use that one I just had. Okay. I like a longer liner here. This is a two script liner. Let's pick up some white or green. I'm going to pick up white and I'm going to one, I'm pulling all of these strokes down. It's too inky, so now it's not showing. See, it disappeared. <laughs> Let's get more paint. Roll the brush into my brush. My little finger steadies me. There we go. The scrapbooking paper has a smooth, silky finish. And it's not like construction paper. It's got a nice finish. And all right. So, oops, it's disappearing again. What the heck? Let's do it again. And there we go. So please go check out some of those other classes I told you about right here on our group, right here on the YouTube and on the Donna DeBerry channel. Please subscribe and join me so you get all the, all the lessons as I post them. And I'll see you next time.